how do you know it is this time in india we are grappling with that at the moment with ms dhoni for example i mean he's he's probably sitting in ranchi having a laugh at all of us talking about it but uh, how do you know when it's time to go can you look at a player and say it's time to go or is it in the player's mind how do you know when it is time to go well i think it changes from player to player and sometimes retirement doesn't need an official press release or an official interview or an official statement sometimes cricket some cricketers some of the greats just step aside and and that's it and they leave the arguing and the, and the questioning and the and the speculation to everyone else and i and i and i believe that ms is a person like that who who would like the others to argue about you know what he should be doing and what he should do best when he himself knows that very well um and for me it was a simple case of i i had the motivation to play yes uh i was just scoring runs and could i score more runs probably yes but i i came to a stage where i thought well what do i do next and if i don't stop now and and try and do something else it's 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 never going to come and we in asia are very sentimental aren't we we always yes. want someone to have a, a good farewell that one last game you know to say thank you to them you know and we we always put that player and ourselves into trouble with all of that kind of sentimentality and the the real clear indication for anyone is the fact that if, if once you once you come to this and you try and delay it or you you kind of second guess yourself that's not going to work it's about saying well if is today the day if it's yes you just make that decision and 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 you walk away and for me it was good that i played county cricket hash because i had that period of slowly tapering off the intensity of inter- international cricket playing at county level and then finally even with that calling it quits after I had my best season in in, in county cricket uh, and i really enjoyed my time in county cricket and that really gave me closure in terms of my career and from that day i stepped aside i still ask when i'm in the commentary box do you miss it and i kid you not i don't miss it at all i look at you know the sri lankan side going out there and playing to that the you wish i was out there I was I always think I'm oh, glad I'm not out there. I've done my bit, I've done my part. I'm going to ask you about that. I'm going to ask you about that Sri Lankan side briefly. Do, do you think you can predict where someone like MS is going having seen him closely, having observed the way he carries himself? Uh, do you can, can you see something coming? Do you think he keep what what what's your I know we're all looking at it from far away. But I I think for MS he'll leave that whether he's going to be picked or not. to the selectors i think he respects the system he respects the game so much that he will leave that up to others if he decides that he needs to make a formal statement of retirement or of intent otherwise he will do it but i think he's very very secure in who he is he's very secure where he is in terms of cricket and in his in his life with his family and i think if he doesn't need to make a big deal about whether he gets picked to india or not he'll be happy playing for chennai and you'll suddenly find him one day not turning up for training or not turning up for chennai or anything else and then you'll probably know that well ms dhoni has decided to retire completely uh so everyone's different uh, i i think ms is is an individual and how we've seen over the years who is extremely confident and secure in who he is and how he makes decisions and we've seen that it's worked for both himself and for his team and for the country and i don't see anything else other than that in the future for him as well.